I think the assumption seems to be the issue would go away rather than resurface. And there was this reliance on a slogan of once in a generation. But that was just that, a slogan. It's got the same constitutional standing as the £350 million for the NHS per week on a bus. And it doesn't invalidate the results of the election held yesterday. So I think... In a sense, it was a very difficult election constitutionally, actually, because it was an election dominated by the independence question. But there are no guidelines as to what happens now. And we're heading for a real constitutional dilemma with a conflict of mandate, if you like, as it does appear likely that there will be a pro-independence referendum. The pro-independence movement will have... Uh, a mandate. Um, the, the Prime Minister and the government in, uh, of the United Kingdom have the force of law. I would expect even if they lost a Supreme Court case, that the majority is there in the House of Commons to change the law to make sure any referendum uh, cannot uh, take place lawfully. And I, don't, I would dismiss then so-called wildcat or illegal activity because it's not in the Scottish government or the Scottish independence movement's uh, interest uh, to do things like unilateral declarations of independence because that would make the path to an independent Scottish state, its recognition by other countries, um, very, very difficult. So fundamentally, this is a clash of mandate and law where it will be decided by politics. And it goes to the absolute heart of the question. We have been told for many decades now that it's a voluntary union. But at the moment, there is no lawful democratic path to the pursuit of Scottish independence. And that remains the case. And that really is the missing part of the constitutional jigsaw that the United Kingdom government has to answer at some point, because at the moment, whatever is said about what, how high up the priority list independence is in various polls, it was unmissable in this election, the independence referendum question uh, on both the SNP and the Green and indeed the Scottish Conservatives um, side. And in effect, the results of the, the conclusion of that election on that major uh, leading issue is going to be set aside, is what we're hearing today.